this is the first episode of Monopoly Monday. We're going to look at my first collectible Monopoly set, The Wizard of Oz. This is the first edition Wizard of Oz set. As you can see, the cover has all four of the main characters. You get eight collectible tokens, unlike the second edition, which only had six, and the current um, 75th anniversary edition only has six. Okay. First, we're going to go ahead and look inside the box. Board out. I want to show you how to properly set up a Monopoly box. So, the middle tray is bigger. That's where you put your property cards. I like to flank those by chance of community chess cards, then the houses and hotels, and then the tokens. Okay. Now we're going to pause the video and I'm going to set this up so we can look at everything. All right? Be right back. Welcome back, and now I'm going to show you the details of this set. We're going to do a quick sweep here. First off, we have the instruction booklet. It has the poppy field on it. Inside, it tells you what's the same and what's different about the collector's edition. It has the basic rules. Um, I'm sorry, I've got bad allergies right now. Next is the dice. The dice that comes with this edition are red with white dots instead of the standard white with black dots. There are eight tokens in this edition. Nowadays, collectible monopolies only have six tokens. So, First off, we have Dorothy with Toto. This is the Dorothy bust. You see her pigtails. These are made out of pewter. We have the Scarecrow bust. Very nice. We have the Tin Man bust. Okay. The Cowardly Lion. And their bases are kind of like bricks, so we all have a road. Okay. The Dorothy Slippers. At the bottom, it's got the copyright information. Oops. Dropped it. We have the tornado with the house inside. The house. Those six tokens were in the second edition. Now, these next tokens are only found in this edition. Glinda's crown. And you can see all the way through it. So that's very pretty. Okay. Then we have the Wicked Witch's Hat. The last token. Um, has copyright information on there. My favorite token to play is Cowardly Lion because he's just my favorite character, so I like him a lot. Um, my least favorite token is actually the Tornado. It's okay. They're all good, though. This is what the houses look like. They're gray to represent Dorothy in Kansas. So they're called farmhouses. And this is the hotel. They're called palaces. So they are green like the Emerald City. Go ahead and look at the money. The money is um, the Bank of the Emerald City. They're done in bricks. The dollar is Toto. Five is the Wicked Witch of the West. Ten is Glinda, the Good Witch. Twenty is the Scarecrow. Fifty is the Tin Man. Caroline is on the hundred dollar bill. And Dorothy is on the five hundred. For the chance card, it's represented by Glinda's crown. And these are unlike the chance cutie chess cards you see nowadays on Clyde Monopoly. So I'm going to do a quick little... You see how they are um, drawn? They're drawn in the Monopoly style, which is really cool. I wish I still did this. You'll see in my upcoming videos that they do not do this anymore. So. They're standard chance cards. It's redone for Wizard of Oz. So it'll say things like, you escape the flying monkeys, collect $50. 
I like that one. Let's see. That's the chance card is always a double. So there's always two of that particular card. Okay. The community chess cards are the Wicked Witch. Keep sending her to jail. That's cute. You organize the first recital of the Munchkin Land Singers. I like this one too. I mean, look at the drawings. The drawings are just so cute. I do not know if this, I'm sure the second edition has the same cards, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm not sure if the 75th anniversary edition, which is the current one you can get, has these cards. So they may have the, the type that you see in collectible monopolies now, where it's photographs from the movie. And then we've got the property cards. Whoops, wait a minute. The property cards are just your standard tile deeds. I always put my tile deeds in order of how you encounter them on the board. So instead of going through all these title cards, which you can see, the electric company has a picture. Um, oh, I should show you the railroad card. Sorry, there we go. Tell you the character and um, what they want. So let's go ahead and look at the squares. Go is always the same. It's on Ems Farm, Kansas. So the Traditional uh, Mediterranean Avenue and Baltic Avenue are the sepia tone first part of the movie. Instead of, let's see, income tax, you have tornado insurance. The railroads have been replaced by what the characters want, so this one's the brain for the scarecrow. And we've got Munchkin Land theme here the rainbow, Munchkin Land, and Glinda's Bubble. There's your in jail, which is always the same on the board. Then here we have the three characters she meets that she travels with. Scarecrow's Cornfield. Um, then you have the Electric Company, which this is a really nice picture. I like how they chose to do that one. Tin Man's Woodpile, Caroline's Lair. Here's the Tin Man's Heart, Apple Orchard, Land of Oz, Poppy Field. Free parking is always the same. The Wicked Witch Corner. Haunted Forest, Monkey Mountain, Lion One Courage, there's Courage, Witch's Castle, Guard's Quarters, there's Waterworks, since I'm melting. Of course, you have to do that one, right? Glenda's Garden, you go to jail. For the green properties, which are my least favorite properties on Monopoly boards to buy, they're extremely expensive. These cost more to you than um, the Park Place and Boardwalk do because their houses are so expensive and there's three of them. Ugh. I always avoid these if I can. But anyway, the green ones they chose to do the Emerald City stuff. So you have Emerald City, the Wizard's Hall, Balloon Central. So you have a way home for Dorothy there, the Ruby Slipper Way. I love the luxury tax space. And then the last one is Home Sweet Home. Look at the board design. This is where you put your community chess cards. There's a little outline there. And your chance cards go up there. We've got this beautiful graphic in the center. That's it for our first episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Because every Monday, we're going to have a Monopoly Monday. I enjoyed doing this video for you guys. I hope you have a great day. Bye.